Welcome back to the Hearing Tracker YouTube channel. I'm Matthew and it's that time of year again when I bring together the best hearing aid technology that's available at this very moment in time to aid you in your quest of achieving the best possible hearing. Now, normally I aim to get this video out earlier on in the year. However, I've had to wait a couple of months to release this video as one of the hearing aids, the Oticon Real, has literally just come out. So as far as I'm aware, this should be the best and the most up-to-date video out there covering the best hearing aids for 2023. So diving straight into it and in no particular order, I'm going to kick off today's video with the brand new, and I mean brand new, Oticon Real. Launched in March 2023, it's so new that Oticon haven't even fully completed the release in every country yet. Building on the legacy of the Oticon More, which was Oticon's previous hearing aid, the Real still has several unique features that stand out against other hearing aid manufacturers, with a few additions to previous Oticon hearing aid technology, which I'll cover in today's video. The Real is available in a range of different colors and three technology levels, the Real 1, Real 2, and Real 3, with the Real 1 being the most advanced of the range. As the technology level increases, as do the number of features that you have access to and the automation that the hearing aid has. You can choose from both a lithium iron rechargeable or a non-rechargeable version, which visually look very similar, and both have a telecoil system built in. You may pay a fraction more when it comes to the rechargeable version, but you'll soon recuperate that by not having to change the batteries once a week, which is necessary with the disposable battery model. Oticon's first unique feature is their built-in deep neural network, which sounds incredible, but what does that mean exactly? Oticon claimed to be the first manufacturer to use 12 million real-life sound scenes recorded from real life to train the deep neural network so that the hearing aids are trained to hear and learn the way that the brain does when it comes to hearing. Then they can accurately decide how they should react, focusing and delivering the sound that you want to hear whilst not highlighting those sounds that you don't. Oticon have two new features in their real family of hearing aids, which enhance this further still. Their first new feature is their sudden sound stabilizer, which runs under the More Sound Amplifier 2.0 and provides dynamic and balanced amplification, reacting to the nature of the sound scene and then adapting its resolution, which Oticon state results in a natural listening experience, giving you access to speech, but at the same time, not overwhelming you with loud environmental sounds. This new sudden sound stabilizer is designed to detect both soft, loud and sudden sounds and to control them so that yes, they're audible, but at the same time, they're not uncomfortably loud or intrusive, all whilst maintaining speech audibility at the same time. Then Oticon's second new feature is their wind and handling stabilizer, which runs under their More Sound Intelligence 2.0. This is an automatic feature designed to make it easier for you to follow and engaging conversations in more noisy listening environments. Scanning your sound scene 500 times per second and then organizing and delivering the sound based on that deep neural network that I was talking about earlier. Oticon is stating that this new technology can both reduce wind noise and provide better speech clarity over and above all other hearing aid technology that's out there at the moment. On top of that, they've also focused their attention on something called handling noise, which is the sound that your hearing aid makes when it's touched. Oticon clearly felt that this was enough of an issue to focus their attention on and their research shows real to have outperformed other hearing aid manufacturers by both 14 and 19 decibels. With Bluetooth being standard in most hearing aids now, this is really no longer a unique selling point when it comes to talking about these best of videos. But Oticon have recently updated their app, giving you more control over your hearing aids. I'll cover this in detail in a later video as it's worth a video in itself. Now, if you're not familiar with Bluetooth and hearing aids, it allows you to stream phone calls and media such as music, the radio or podcasts directly from your phone to both of your hearing aids. Plus, you can use your phone to adjust the settings on your hearing aids too. The final feature worth a mention is Oticon's Tinnitus Sound Support, which is a sound generator that can be integrated into the daily functioning of your hearing aids. Specifically designed programs in the hearing aids allow you to play various sounds that can help to move your attention away from your tinnitus. Oticon allow you to choose from ocean-like sounds to steady white noise and also adjust the volume level of the relief sounds directly on the button on the back of your hearing aid or via the app on your smartphone. Back over on the Hearing Tracker YouTube channel, we have full independent reviews on all of the latest technology, which is constantly being updated. So check out the rest of our videos for full details on these hearing aids and make sure that you subscribe to stay up to date on all of them 
and for comprehensive reviews on this technology. The Lumity family of hearing aids was released in the summer of 2022 and are currently available solely in the receiver and canal style of hearing aid. There are three models available, the Audeo Lumity R, which is rechargeable, Audeo Lumity RT, which is rechargeable with the telecoil, and finally, the Audeo Lumity RL, which is rechargeable and their life version, which uniquely to Phonak are rechargeable and fully waterproof, using the same waterproof techniques that NASA use in their spacecraft. Each of these models are available across all of Phonak's technology levels, from essential to standard, advanced and premium. With an increase in the number of features and automation that you have access to, the more advanced the hearing aid. The Ordeo Lumity is a hearing aid built on the same computer chip as its predecessor, the Paradise family of hearing aids, known as Prism. So you'll notice that the Ordeo Lumity has some of the features that were available in the Paradise family, with a few additional benefits. Phonak are boasting that their main drive with these hearing aids has been their improvement in hearing and background noise, so naturally, that's the thing that I want to share with you today. They've improved the background noise capabilities over and above the Paradise range in a couple of different ways. Firstly, it's Phonak's debut of AutoSense 5.0, which is Phonak's environmental classifier, which scans your environment 700 times per second and calculates the most appropriate setting for your hearing aid to switch over to. It chooses between the following different settings, which can also be individually optimized by your audiologist. Once the environment is recognized by the hearing aids, they then choose from 200 different setting combinations in order to optimize the settings in that particular environment that you're at at the time. Phonak are boasting that in this new auto sense, they've developed two key improvements. Firstly, in background noise, and secondly, with speech understanding. The other new additional feature to Phonak's hearing aid is Stereo Zoom 2.0, which is their directional beamform setting. This is a feature designed to focus the microphones of the hearing aids directly in front of you when you're in a particularly noisy environment, with a view to focus on what you want to hear and cut out the sounds that you don't. Phonak are boasting that the advantage of Stereo Zoom 2.0 versus the original Stereo Zoom that we've seen for the last 10 years is that it's far more reactive to the environment around you and therefore should give you a greater awareness of the environmental sounds as well as the person in front of you when the noise levels are a little bit lower. And then as those noise levels increase, there's a gradual focus on the person in front of you. And hopefully that removes the blocked off feeling of being trapped in a bubble when you're in a particularly noisy situation. Now, the third and final debut feature from Phonak is their all new speech sensor feature, which is a 360 degree speech detection algorithm, allowing you to hear more conversations from the right or left or behind. Phonak state that 80% of conversations generally come from in front of us on a day-to-day -day basis, with the other 20% coming from the side or from behind. Now, the downside of their older directional microphone technologies is that they're designed to focus so aggressively in front of you that it can cut out some of that other 20%, and again, create that bubble-like effect that I was talking about earlier. The speech sensor feature is designed to identify conversations happening close by from directions other than in front of you and then open up the Sound Recover 2.0 feature in a noisy environment to a more omnidirectional setting. This will therefore allow you to pick up that speech without you needing to turn your head. Phonak do also have some pretty unique, awesome features such as built-in motion sensors to detect whether you're walking or not and determine the direction that your microphone should be facing. And they've also got their brilliant active vent receiver, which is a unique adaptive speaker, which identifies whether you're in background noise and isolates you even more from the noisy world around you. Plus it engages when you're streaming music to add fullness, richness, and depth to the sound. So with all of this, it's easy to see that Phonak really have taken automation to the next level in terms of outside of the box thinking to optimize your hearing and make it as easy as possible for you when you're wearing these hearing aids. Now, as with most hearing aids that I'm discussing today, the Lumity hearing aids also have built-in Bluetooth. However, it's slightly different with Phonak. They use classic Bluetooth, which is unique to them, which means that they can essentially connect to any Bluetooth device. So not just an iPhone or Android, but also a non-smartphone too, or even a computer, for example, as long as it's all got Bluetooth built into it. The Lumities allow for a total of eight Bluetooth pairings of which two of those devices can be paired simultaneously. For example, they can be paired to both your mobile and laptop without needing to re-establish the connection each time you want to use one of them. When paired with your phone, the microphones on your hearing aids will also pick up the sound of your own voice, so you can keep your phone in your pocket and have a truly hands-free conversation. 
Phone app completely overhauled their My Phone app in 2022, which now gives you plenty of control over your hearing aids, more so than a lot of the hearing aid manufacturers out there, such as creating your own custom made programs and also having quite a hands on approach to adjusting some of the more finer details on your hearing aids, such as being able to adjust the bass, the mids, and the trebles, changing the noise reduction settings and directionality on your hearing aids, and also making them more or less focused in terms of picking up the sounds from around you. The app also allows you to have remote adjustments to the settings on your hearing aids. This means that you could be sat at home having changes made whilst your audiologist is sat in clinic. Plus, if that's still not enough and these hearing aids alone don't overcome all of the challenges associated with your hearing loss, Phonak have a whole host of accessories that can make a massive amount of difference. Check out this video in which I cover my top five. Plus, if you want a comprehensive review covering every feature when it comes to the Audio Luity family, check out this video and you'll know all of the ins and outs. It seems natural to move from the Phonak Lumity to the Resound Omnia as Resound's big drive with these hearing aids has also been better hearing in background noise. And as a result, Resound are boasting that their Omnia family of hearing aids has shown a 150% improvement in speech understanding in noise versus their previous hearing aid, the Resound One. 150%. Also released in the summer of 2022, the Resound Omnia is available in four different models. The Mini RIE, RIE 61 rechargeable, RIE 61 which uses a size 312 battery, and RIE 62 which uses a size 13 disposable battery and sports a multifunction button and built-in telecoil. The disposable battery version will give you around about a week's worth of life per battery. These models are available in three different technology levels, the 9, 7 and 5, with the former being the most advanced of the family. Again, as with other hearing aids, as the technology level increases, as do the number of features that you have access to, and again, the degree of automation that the hearing aid has. Now, Resound pride themselves on what they call their organic hearing philosophy, in which they claim to take their design and engineering inspiration from how we naturally hear and seek to mimic that as closely as possible creating what they state is the most natural sounding hearing aid out there and also claiming to be the most advanced and effective hearing aids for speech understanding and background noise. To do this, they have three different features that they employ in these hearing aids to achieve this. First of all, Resound's environmental classifier, which scans your environment and utilizes speech and noise detection algorithms, similarly to the Phonak Luberty hearing aids, and then categorizes your environment into one of these key areas. This classification is faster than it's ever been and results in a more accurately tailored listing environment being identified for you. Once your listing situation has been identified, the environmental optimizer then kicks in and it applies the appropriate adjustments to that specific environment that you're in at that time and adjusts the settings accordingly. These adjustments can be tailored by your audiologist specifically for those situations. And again, depending on the technology level that you have, can be tailored to adjust the noise reduction settings too. The final piece of the jigsaw puzzle for better speech understanding in noise is their 360 degree all around feature, which works more similarly to the Oticon real hearing aids rather than the Phonak stereo zoom feature by way of auditory focus. They've done this by instead of always attempting to focus on what's in front of the hearing aid user, Resound have opened up the world to allow more acoustic information to come through giving your brain access to the full sound scene and then boasting that by widening that sound environment mapping to 360 degrees, this means that the hearing aids are making decisions about speech coming from any direction and ensuring a far more natural listening experience. The Omnias again have Bluetooth built into them to allow streaming of media and phone calls with both Android and Apple iPhones and have a comprehensive app called the Smart 3D app. The app allows for basic adjustments in terms of adjusting the bass, treble and noise attenuation and also speech clarity. And similarly to Phonak, if you make these adjustments and you like what you've done, you can save your own programs. I personally think that this is a great tool and gives you more independence if you wish to manually make changes to the settings on your hearing aids. If you want to be really clever, you can set this up with your location services and then when you go back to a particular environment, the app will recognize your situation based on the geolocation and then it will automatically jump onto that particular favorite program whenever you get there. Check out this comprehensive video in which I cover all of the ReSound Omnia features. One of the reasons that I like Signia is that they've historically tried to break the mold and try things that other hearing aid manufacturers won't or dent. And they have a history of designing hearing aids that can be a little bit more unique 
in an attempt to break the stereotypes associated with hearing aids. Saying that, the Signia AX family have some quite unique features, and at the same time, they seem to have cherry-picked all of the best bits from other hearing aid manufacturers too, to create some pretty clever technology. Their Signia AX family comes in four different models. The Pure Charge & Go AX, which is their rechargeable model, Pure Charge & Go TAX, which is their rechargeable model with a built-in telecoil, their Pure 312 AX, which is a disposable battery option, and the Stiletto AX, which I think is more of a fashion statement than a hearing aid. Released gradually throughout 2021 and 2022, the Pure Charge & Go comes in five different models. The 1, 2, 3 and 5, and then finally the most advanced, the 7 AX. In my opinion, the main unique selling point that Signia have with their AX model is their dual processor technology built into their hearing aids, which runs simultaneously. Signia claim that this allows the hearing aids to process the sounds that are in focus, such as speech, with one of those processors, and the other processor focuses on the environmental sounds, with the big advantage here being that each processor isn't processing too much acoustic information at the same time. Those two signals are then treated very differently, with speech receiving more linear amplification, whilst noise, on the other hand, is given greater amounts of compression. The hearing aids can then control how those sounds are combined and in theory should prioritize speech and create a greater contrast between the two. This so-called augmented focus then pulls the focus sounds closer to you and places the environmental sounds further away, with the end result helping you to focus on the speech that you want to hear and gives you more clarity and detail on those whilst minimizing background noise in situations such as groups, crowds or noisy listening environments. I will say that the Signia smartphone app is pretty basic compared to other hearing aid manufacturers. However, it does have one unique trick up its sleeve. The Signia Assistant Artificial Intelligence is something unique to Signia and definitely worth getting excited about. Via the app, you can type in any hearing issue that you might have. For example, if you don't like the sound of your own voice and the Signia Assist will present you with a list of potential solutions to choose from. It will then analyze the parameters in your acoustic environment, and then based on the deep neural network, we'll enhance the settings on the hearing aids to suit your requests. Pretty clever, eh? This means that with your feedback, the hearing aids are in a constant state of evolution and change without the need for you to revisit your audiologist for adjustments as often. This information is, however, all fed back to your audiologist and then they can remotely track your interactions that you're having with the Signia Assistant, which also makes the feedback that you give to your audiologist at any follow-up appointments even more valuable. In theory, this should, as a result, lead to you reaching the point in which you're satisfied with your hearing aids even quicker than with previous Signia technology. As far as tinnitus goes, Signia offer three different strategies to help you combat your tinnitus, depending on which you think is the most appropriate for you. Firstly, they have their static noise tinnitus therapy signals, of which you can choose from five preset noise signals, plus you have the ability to customize those sounds to meet your specific requirements. Second of all, they have four different ocean wave therapy signals, which are designed to mimic the sound of the sea. And then finally, they have the Signia tinnitus notch therapy and are the only hearing aids that are currently using this approach when it comes to managing your tinnitus. This method of tinnitus therapy is designed specifically for those experiencing tonal tinnitus, such as ringing, whistling, or buzzing, which is actually the most common type of tinnitus out there. This approach is quite different to using a masking sound and Signia claim that the concept behind notch therapy isn't to drown out tinnitus like it is with masking, but to teach the brain how to completely ignore it. Widex initially released their Moment family of hearing aids halfway through 2020, and they've gradually added to the family since then. They definitely have their place in 2023's best hearing aids due to some of their very unique features, which I'll cover now. The Moment is available in three different models. Firstly, the RIG-10, which is the smallest of the three, and in fact, it's the smallest of any of the hearing aids that I'm covering today. However, that does come at a cost as it doesn't have Bluetooth and also uses a size 10 disposable battery that lasts between three to five days. We then have the RIC 312, which is again a disposable battery, but lasts for between five to 10 days this time, and it does have Bluetooth. And then finally, we have the SRIC RD, which is their sheer model. This is rechargeable and again has Bluetooth functionality. All of these hearing aids are available in four different technology levels. The Moment 440, 330, 220, and then 110, with the former being the most advanced of the range. The feature that Widex are the most proud about in their Moment family is their pure sound technology, 
This new program is designed for those with a mild hearing loss and uses Widex's zero delay technology, which processes sounds between eight to 20 times faster than other Widex programs and also other digital hearing aids in general. As a result of this new feature, Widex are boasting that this enhances the quality of the sound processed by the hearing aid, improves speech understanding, and also provides a far more natural sound from the hearing aid than all other tech that's out there at the moment. Now you've heard me mention artificial intelligence in a few other hearing aids earlier on in this video and how impressive that was. And Widex also use AI in their own very unique way and have done so for a while now. Using their Bluetooth connection to the phone, Widex have taken this to another level involving you, the hearing aid user in the decision-making process. Using the app, you can adjust the settings, which teaches the hearing aids to automatically adjust to those preferences when you're in that similar environment going forward. Research from Widex indicates that sound sense learning usage leads to a greater listening comfort and subjective sound quality. To echo the connectivity features of the Oticon Real hearing aids, Widex have Bluetooth built into most of its models across the family of hearing aids, and it's now suitable with both iOS and Android smartphones. As far as apps go, Widex has the Widex Moment app for hearing aid adjustments over Bluetooth. And for those models which are too small to have Bluetooth built into them, there's also the Widex Tone Link app, which still allows you to make basic adjustments to the settings, such as volume and program adjustments. Remote adjustments are also available with Widex. However, the process is a little bit more complicated compared to other manufacturers as the user needs to wear an external neck loop to connect, which comes at a cost. Nonetheless, it is still possible to have remote adjustments done from the comfort of your own home. And then finally, whilst each hearing aid manufacturer has their own form of sound enrichment therapy built into their hearing aids for tinnitus, Widex are well known in the industry for their unique fractal Zen tone therapy. Zen plays random chime-like tones that can be used for relaxation and for making tinnitus less noticeable. This is individualized according to a user's hearing loss and also takes background noise into account as well. There are various unique Zen tones to choose from depending on which provides the best relief for you. If tinnitus is one of your most bothersome issues when it comes to your ears, even without a hearing loss, then this form of therapy can make a significant difference to your bothersome tinnitus. Located in Minnesota, US, Starkey is the only American-based hearing aid manufacturer left over and the last independent hearing aid manufacturer in the world. For over 40 years, they've been leaders in the development of new and innovative ideas, and this hasn't slowed down at all. Starkey were the first to bring the term healthable to the hearing aid world, and this was back in 2018. And since then, they've built on this concept along with their smartphone app, Thrive, with their desire to be more than a hearing aid, but also a device which is responsible for the overall health and well-being of the hearing aid user. The Starkey Evolve AI is available in a few different models. The Micro RIC 312, the RIC 312, and then finally the RIC R, their rechargeable receiver in the canal hearing aid. The Evolve range is available in four different technology levels, the 2400, 2000, 1600, and 1200, with the former being the most advanced of the range. As I've spoken about artificial intelligence with most other hearing aids on this list so far, it would be unfair to miss out on Starkey's incorporation of AI in these hearing aids. Starkey call their version of this edge mode, and when activated, the hearing aids will conduct an AI-based analysis of your current environment, and then the hearing aids will adjust their parameters to optimize the listing situation for wherever you are. This should make immediate adjustments designed to improve speech understanding, especially when it comes to background noise. And Starkey are boasting that this even helps with people when they're wearing face masks and makes it far more easy for you to be able to hear them. As a result of this setting, Starkey are boasting that users should see a 40% reduction in noise energy compared to their previous hearing aid technology, with the end result being the hearing aid being able to cope better and give you more speech in noisy environments. As with all of the hearing aids that I've covered today, there are way too many features to cover in this overview. So check out my Starkey Evolve full review to be able to understand exactly what they've got locked into these hearing aids. The Starkey Thrive app allows you to make some basic adjustments to the settings on your hearing aids, such as volume control or to different programs that you may have set up with your audiologist. It also has a long list of other key features, which is what brings Starkey's hearing aids into that healthable arena that I was discussing earlier in this video. Some of those unique features worth a mention are the likes of their activity monitor, their translation feature, which I'd liken to a live voice version of Google Translate. They even have a transcription feature, providing closed captions for real life world situations. 
Their fall alerts and care settings are great to help monitor the activity and safety of a loved one wearing these hearing aids, with automatic notifications being sent to a chosen person should something unfortunate happen to them. Cool. Yep, I think that went pretty well. Okay, happy with that. Well, that's weird, it's starkey ringing. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Hey, how's it going? You're kidding me. Really, now? Okay, don't worry, I've literally just finished recording the best hearing aids for 2023, so it's perfect timing, I will keep everybody updated. Yep. Yeah, I'll do it now. Okay, cool. See you later. Bye. Did I or did I not tell you that this was going to be the most up-to-date YouTube video out there for the best hearing aids of 2023 or what? So I originally held back on releasing this video because of the pending release of the Oticon reels. And now Starkey have also thrown a huge curveball with an entirely new family of hearing aids called Genesis AI. Now there's a valid reason that I've kept the Starkey Evolve AIs in this video as well. And that's because whilst the Starkey's new hearing aids are literally being rolled out in the US as I speak, they're not due to be rolled out in the rest of the world until November 2023, which is also kind of annoying. So for half of you watching this video today, the best Starkey technology will be the Evolve AIs and the other half will be the brand new Genesis AI family, which, which I'll cover in a little bit more detail now. So over to the tech, there are two brand new receiver and canal models of hearing aids, which do look very different from their predecessors and Starkey really are going for it with some huge industry first claims with their boasts on battery life. Firstly, their RIC RT is rechargeable with a telecoil, and Starkey are boasting that it will be the longest lasting rechargeable receiver and canal hearing aid on the market, holding up to 51 hours on a single charge. And secondly, they have the MRIC R, which will be a smaller hearing aid. In fact, Starkey boasts the smallest rechargeable RIC on the market, but will still give you a whopping 41 hours on a single charge. So, why have they gone to town on battery life? Lithium ion battery technology, which is the same technology that's used in smartphones, laptops, etc., etc., is known to deplete over time, which is just the way that this kind of chemistry works. But Starkey's theory is that if hearing aids are only optimized to last for 24 hours straight out of the box, then after three years, they'll potentially not last you for a full day. Therefore, by giving them this huge battery life on day one, by the time that they get to three years old, they should still be lasting you for a full waking day. As with the Evolve AIs, these hearing aids are again available in four different technology levels. So let's dive straight into talking about why Starkey think that their artificial intelligence is way above everybody else's. Similarly to the Oticon Reels, Starkey have a deep neural network engine accelerator built within their new processor, which is the equivalent of the brain of the hearing aid. They're most proud of their new neuroprocessor, which makes decisions four times faster than the Evolve AI that I was talking about earlier and makes 80 million, yes, 80 million adjustments per hour. And that's all automatic. So that sounds great. And there are a host of other vast numbers that I can quote for you today, such as 600% more transistors, five times more computational memory with 10 times more non-volatile memory than the Evolve AI and 10 times faster noise reduction. But what does that mean in practice for you as a hearing aid user? Coupled with their widening of the dynamic range by up to 20 decibels, Starkey boasts that this should significantly enhance speech and suppress noise, therefore resulting in a transparent and more natural listening experience. And that goes for whether you're in either noisy or quiet environments. Starkey are boasting that they've also enhanced their edge mode that I was discussing earlier, which they now call Edge Mode Plus, which is a user-selected program that conducts an AI-based analysis of your current environment with the new version acting 10 times faster than their previous version. As you already know, as with other hearing aid manufacturers, Starkey also have Bluetooth functionality. But when we're talking about the Genesis AI Bluetooth, we're talking about Bluetooth on steroids. Now, if any of you out there have had Bluetooth connectivity issues with your previous hearing aids, apparently the Genesis AI has got you covered. According to Starkey, with the assistance of a new antenna, the Genesis AI has improved their wireless range by up to 40%, which means you can be even further away from your iPhone when taking hands-free phone calls. And you can also stream audio from a far greater distance. So now you can enjoy your favorite podcasts, music and audio without having to worry about becoming disconnected from your phone. 
That's not all though with these new hearing aids. The MyStarkey app has also been completely revamped for easier access and use, and it's far more intuitive than it has been in the past. It's super easy to access Edge Mode Plus and the other controls are just on the home screen. And for those of you out there who are new to wearing hearing aids, the app offers a brand new learn section with helpful videos to guide you on your journey. And it also has some game familiarity features built in too. That's not all because it still has the same comprehensive features as Thrive as well. And if that's not enough, it also has firmware updates that are now possible to be done through the Starkey app. So you don't need to go and see your audiologist every time there's an update for your hearing aids. So as you can imagine, Starkey are pretty excited about this new technology. And there are a lot of news built into this hearing aid, such as a new style, a new chip, a new app, and even an entirely new patient experience. So given the breadth of what this can do, it may well be worth talking to your audiologist about a trial with them. As with every other hearing aid that I've covered today, check out this video covering a few more details on the Genesis AIs. So there you have it, guys. These are the most up-to-date hearing aids that are out there at the moment, and I hope this helps you to be able to decide which is going to be the most appropriate for you. Like I mentioned, I've got individual reviews covering each of those different technologies on the Hearing Tracker YouTube channel, so make sure you check those out. If you like this video, then go ahead and click like. If you have any questions or comments, then drop them beneath this video, and I do aim to get back to everybody. And of course, if you're interested in more videos like this covering all the tape that's out there at the moment, then make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.